time for today's download with our Kelly Basil. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. You guys probably didn't notice it, but yesterday Facebook went down. Yeah. And the internet. Did you notice? No. No. It yeah, was that see, boom I told you. We heard it. I, I know, exactly. <laughs> the internet was not impressed with it, so I got to tell you what happened. So let's check in with today's download. Well, even Facebook can have a case of the Mondays, it seems. Yesterday afternoon, Facebook users hit the imaginary dislike button while the social media site was down for about an hour. They saw that famous, sorry, something went wrong message when they tried to refresh their feeds. So while it was down, users took to Twitter to use the hashtag Facebook down, and some of the tweets were pretty funny. It was the second time in a week that Facebook had an outage, and Twitter became the online place to be, while officials say it was caused by a configuration issue. Well, today's National Coffee Day, and Starbucks isn't passing out free coffee. Instead, they're celebrating the holiday by launching an initiative called Starbucks One Tree for Every Bag Commitment. They'll plant a tree every time a bag of coffee is bought, but if you're focused on the free coffee, here's where you can get it. Dunk Dunkin' Donuts has been promoting this for days, and today you can get a free medium hot or iced dark roast at their locations. Krispy Kreme is one-upping Dunkin's and offering a free small coffee with a glazed donut, saying that they do coffee day right. And even Whole Foods is getting in on the coffee game. They're offering 25-cent coffee in stores. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you for believing in me. I'm not quite sure what you saw in me, but I'll work hard every day to find it. And I'll make you not look like the crazy old dude who left his inheritance to some random kid from Africa. <laughs> well, I love it. Last night was Trevor <laughs> Noah's first night on the job as host of The Daily Show, and he took time to pay tribute to longtime host Jon Stewart. Many people on social media commented that it was weird watching without John, and the reviews are mixed, but like any change, social media always has a way of complaining about it. Trevor didn't change much about the show, and he admitted that he can only assume that it was as strange for everyone else as it was for him to be sitting in the Daily Show hosting chair. Hmm. I think he did a great job. A yeah. lot of people, of course, are criticizing him. They're saying there wasn't much of a change. The only thing that was new was the set. But you know what? But then if he changed right. everything, exactly. they would be, right. there would be an upheaval. You say it's pretty funny, though. I like it, and I like that I like accent. that opening. <laughs> yeah, I'm digging the accent, <laughs> Kelly B. <laughs> Space, Space I like question of the day. <laughs> this happens.